everybody, this is Taff on route and today's away trip is Barnet. And uh, with the scandalous price that they're charging for their tickets, um, let's hope it's going to be worth the money to see them go down. So uh, today uh, we're coming off the back of a good home win against uh, Swindon. So it's going to be interesting to see what team he goes with. I mean, uh, playoffs are still mathematically possible, so I don't know if that's going to factor in his team choice today. Personally, I don't think we're going to get it. So if I was him, I'd be playing a couple of uh, youngsters or players who'll be looking to bring on ready for next season. But I'm also joined in the car. we got Lloyd Moore at the back there. There's Lucy. And Leanne's trying to hide. There she is. And, of course, the big man himself. There's Philip. So, uh... Let's go to Phil first. What do you think then, Phil? Well, the score is going to be. Uh, what do you think? What, what team do you think he's going to pick today? I think he should be playing Sheen. Agreed. Uh, they had a game. In, they had a game in the week behind closed doors. Yeah. And played all the young kids. And Hayes played. So. Start up in Hayes. Well, um, Jackson's eight, isn't he? And looks so. The fullback, which has been injured, Gualdo. Gualdo, he played in the week, so I would imagine he would get a game. Mm. And then it's the same as I think. If, if, if I'm right, I think he's made a couple of uh, sub appearances at the beginning of the season, so uh, it'd be actually good to see him start a game to see what he's made of, basically, because we haven't had much a chance to see him. Yeah, the friend is he was very impressive. Mm. Uh, he got that injury, but yeah, uh, yeah we've got to be planning for next year now. He's got, to, he's got it on his mind what he's going to be keeping and who's going. And yeah, probably the people today who he's keeping could be playing. Yeah, well, I think that. I mean, do you think you'd be taking in, into account that we mathematically still still can make the playoffs? Well, yeah, it's still it's still there. It's ninety nine percent that we ain't gonna do it, but it's still there. But we need a miracle. Mm. But we've already done a miracle last year, didn't we? Yeah. Would have thought we'd have done that. But then, with only four games left with uh, 10 points to get I mean we got the game in hand obviously I mean if results go our way today and we got that game in hand over a couple of teams above us it, you know it could be game on really couldn't it but uh, no we got to we got to forget it. we got to start building for next year yeah. you know? we've had a good season it would be a, bad, a shame if we did mi miss out on the playoffs by a couple of points but mm. just shows how much we've improved yeah that's one thing. I mean, what we did last year, we kept we kept the better of the players. We added well. In some instances, we didn't because there's been one or two disappointments this year. Um, one of them's Newbley. At the very beginning of the season, he, he looked like he was going to be one of the best signings we've ever made. Mm. Obviously, coming on the scene and scoring goals, skinning players all the time, people didn't really seem to know how to deal with him. And then all of a sudden, he went completely off the boil. And he's gone completely the opposite way around. I mean, he's not scoring, he's missing sitters, he's losing the ball all the time, he's lacking in effort. Do you think Newbury will be moving on? Personally, I love the bloke, but mm. he, um, as you say, he started well. Mm. He hasn't been doing it for most of the season now. And we've got to start looking at somebody, a young, probably a loney, a young mm. starlet from Tottenham or whatever yeah. and uh, well, someone who we're building good relationships with lately I mean the likes of Brighton Bristol City Leeds as you say Tottenham well we've proved it already with mm. McCluskey from Bristol and yeah. um, Ben White from Bournemouth mm. so Brighton Brighton <laughs> so if we could pick up a couple of those young eager mm -hmm. but one game time um, that's, that's the way forward. I've heard it said that the key to doing well in this league is utilising the loan market in the best way that you can. And it just goes to show that this season, Mikulski scored the winner against Leeds, which got us into uh, the FA Cup fourth round for that tie against uh, Tottenham. And then obviously Ben White, for me, I picked him as number one for the player of the season. Yeah, well, to say, he ain't going to be far off. Mm. Obviously, with the vote have been done, they're saying it's between two defenders and a midfielder. Yeah. Well, the midfielder's got to be Lava 
be. Yeah, absolutely. And the two at the back has got to be Butler and White. White. But, uh, yeah. Although Dimitri's had a good season, in my opinion. Yeah, I think uh, I, I personally would have thought it would be Dimitri's, but mm. yeah, he's got to look at the loan market. Mm -hmm. We haven't got the money to go out and spend. My, my biggest disappointment is technically he's one of the best players we've got, mm. but he's just not performing. That'd be uh, Dolan. Matty Dolan. I, yeah. I, again, I love the bloke, but. He hasn't performed with all the comments we got when we signed him. He was this yeah. and that. Technically, he's another Adam Chapman. Yeah. But he's just not doing it. Yeah. And Ben Towser, I would personally keep him as a, a backup defender. Had a fantastic game against Swindon. Yeah, a backup defender. Yeah. Scotty Bennett. I hope he gets a contract. Yeah. Versatile, mm -hmm. midfield, uh, in defence. O'Brien oh, uh, and Dimitriou. Keep all well, they're signed anyway, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Oh, they. Of course they are. Yeah. Yeah. But then and Butler. Then, uh, Butler's got to get a good contract. Well, if you've got to keep Butler. I would have thought he would have been the first to sign up because mm. revenue-wise, he's the only person who we could sell on. At this so point, I yeah. Tie him right. up before everybody else, but. Flynn's got his own ideas, he'll mm -hmm. be a judge on it next year, it'll be his team, and we can all hope mm -hmm. and give all the support we can. Absolutely. So, yeah, I, as, as I say, Newbley has been, for me, my personal biggest disappointment of the season. Uh, someone who's so into the club and so, in, you know, and so vocal with the supporters, um, you'd have thought there'd have been a lot more work ethic from him. but. Just haven't quite done it, but uh, Lloyd is back there. I know he's aching to give his opinions. Um, everybody went on Newbley and oh, well, Newbley, yeah, nah. Um, at the start of the season, he was good, really good. In fact, um, mm. he's beaten every players. Mm -hmm. I think it's since like the Grimsby game. I thought after the Grimsby away, yeah. I think that's where he's like getting disappointed. If you ask me, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, for me, it was a bit before that because obviously the goal he, he got himself a goal at Grimsby, but then it was a bit of a lucky deflection, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, him. of course. Um, nah, he's, he's good on the ball and all. Mm. It's a fact. He's of the boys. Mm. Awful, like. His his attacking awareness for an attacker who's been as high as the Premier League, you'd think his attacking positioning would be an awful and, lot better. And because he's like you expect him mm. to finish like three yarders and yeah. stuff like that, he just and, doesn't do that. No. But then, um, talking about strikers, though, in my opinion, Amund oh. is, I mean, he, he has his games when he doesn't really seem to do anything, but the effort's always there. Yeah. It just goes to show the difference a bit of effort can make. Yeah, I think, you know. I think the thing about Amund, no one realises um, what he's like off the ball. Yeah. Like, I didn't realise that at first, but off the ball, he's brilliant. He's always yeah. on the player and all that. Mm. He's always put pressure on the defenders. Yeah. And um, he's good He's good on the ball, and he's good holding on the ball. Mm-hmm. And also he bugs in the net, so... Well, that's it, I mean, putting yeah. the ball in the net. I mean, Flynn has gone on record to say that he's looking for a 20-goal-a-season striker. It's funny, funny enough, we're going to Barnet today, and if they go down, what's the availability of John Akinde going to be? I mean, is his contract up at the end of the season? That's something I'm going to have to have a little it look into. on other offers, though, isn't it? But apparently Newbley is on the biggest contract at the club at the moment. Right. If Newbley is moving on... And we put a little bit of our FA Cup money into the playing budget. Will will it mean that we'll have the money to sign a John O'Kindy then? Yeah, of course. Yeah, um, I can't see Newbury moving up though. I, I, I think he's a confidence player. If you ask me, I think I think I don't think we'll keep him. He's on a one-year contract. His contract is up. Right. I don't think we'll keep him. He, I wouldn't. If it, if it was up to me, I wouldn't. Of course. Um, if we get the money off him mm. from him. Well, that's to say, obviously his wages will free up some budget. Is that, yeah, I, I think possibly, yeah, because... Mm. Don't see why uh, not. Because um, the foundation in this league to teams doing better than people expect them to do is when they put a lot of their budget into signing a big big name striker, well, a big name for League Two, of course. Yeah. I mean, obviously Crawley overperformed last season because um, they had James Collins playing for James them. Collins, yeah. I mean, you look at Accrington... They, they, they've just been promoted and they've had Billy Key playing for them. 
Yeah. So it just goes to show what having a top quality striker can do in this league. And that's what we lacked in. Mm-hmm. I mean, you look at Grimsby last year. Grimsby had a thunderous start of the season last year yeah, on the back of having Omar Bogle playing yeah, for them. Yeah, he went to Cardiff. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I think he went to Wigan. Then he was let go by Wigan, and then Cardiff picked him up. But yeah. I don't know what he's doing for Cardiff this year. Playing a bit part, probably. Has he, has he but left Cardiff. I don't know, to be honest with you. I I don't know. He's injured. But anyway, it's all about the day, though. Uh, right now, en route to Barnet. So uh, the team that we want to see out. I mean, personally, I think because Barnet are at the bo- uh, at the bottom of the league, there's no reason why we shouldn't go with an attacking team today. So I'm thinking a four-three-three. I'm thinking uh, obviously Joe Day in goal. Uh, Butler at left back, Pipe at right back. Uh, centre backs would be White and Demetrio. I think three central midfielders in the shape of Toza. Um, yeah, we go with Toza, we go with um, Sheehan, and I think uh, he'll probably play Dolan. I mean, this could be the kind of game Dolan can do well in. You know, obviously, uh, if Barn at the, at the bottom of the league, it doesn't mean they, it'll mean that they got a, a weak midfield, so maybe Dolan can do well in this kind of game. Um, possibly even he'll play Wilmot, not Dolan. Um, I think he's been improving at the central midfield position personally, Wilmot. But um, up front, then the f- we we'll go with a three up front. We we'll go with Collins. Maybe even play Wilmot up top. Actually, Collins on the left, Wilmot on the right, Amond in the middle. Or maybe go with uh, mix it up a little bit. Maybe Hayes, Amond, and Collins as the three strikers. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of possibilities for the day, I think. But I definitely go with Collins. Collins, where you get the ball to his feet. Uh, no, we're not in a position where he's got to right power someone. He'll get the ball to his feet with his facing goal. He'll run at players and he'll skin them. So I think we've certainly got to be playing him today. So what do you think, Phil? Would you disagree with any of that? No, I would. I would if if Hayes if Hayes is fit, and I would definitely. Huh? Oh, apparently this is our players' coach. Is it? <laughs> Corporate travel doesn't say anything. No, I don't think that's our players. I don't think it is. But um, yes. Yeah, so so you're saying, would, Phil? if he's fit and he's re- ready to play, I would definitely play Hayes. Mm. I would definitely start with Sheehan. We're, yeah. pay, we're paying out good money for him. Let's mm. get him game ready for next year. Yeah. And. Depending on it, O'Brien being fit. If he's fit, he needs game time. And the young lad who hasn't played much in fullback, I'll mm. give him a game. Okay. Don't, don't forget. Well, don't forget. We mm. got two. We got a game today. We got a game Tuesday. Mm. We got a game Saturday. And then we got a game. Yeah, there's a lot of games coming yeah. up, and uh, he's got to use the squad. I suppose, I suppose a good point to make is that Toure and uh, Folsom have just signed uh, pro contracts. Yeah, I, they played in the mm. game in the week, apparently. Mm. They, uh, they didn't have a bad game, both mm. of them. I like Folsom, but I don't think he's quite ready yet. Maybe not. But, but, um, Toure at the beginning already, already been told, said by Flynn that mm. he's not ready yet. Yeah. Then uh, we play the friendlies. Mm. They've got to. they got to be playing next year. Yeah. And obviously Wayne Atswell went on record uh, to us and said that um, he's going to be a hell of a baller when he when he gets a bit older. So we'll uh, be looking forward to seeing what Folsom has got. Anyway, the guys in the back are moaning that it's hot. Obviously they got the windows closed at the moment, so uh, we, we haven't got no noise interfering with that. So uh, that'll be all for uh, en route. 2-1 um, today. 2-1, oh yeah, the score predictions. I'm saying 3-1, Lloyd's saying 3-1, Lucy's saying... And Leanne is saying... 1-0 well, no, to County hopefully yeah <laughs> we all go and County yeah, win we all go and County win I think it's going to be a bit, bit more comfortable than just the 1-0 the so there we go come on the County, the county we'll see you all there UTC